and I will be whiter than snow. Let him hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins. Blot out all my iniquity. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. I think, I, I suspect that that was the psalm in the mind of the writer of the hymn. Because yeah. it's a lot of those same themes of uh, confession and a request for forgiveness. What were you reading, Kara? Psalm 51. Psalm 51? Yeah. It's the psalm that David wrote after he was, um, after he confessed his sin with Bathsheba. And he was asking God for forgiveness from raping Bathsheba and murdering her husband. Um, so this is the psalm that he brought. And we say it, well, Ash Wednesday, right? But other times. But it's probably one of the more powerful psalms of confession in the scriptures. Um, and I think it's very much similar to what your translations were this idea of a recognition of who we are and how God can cleanse us. And obviously the repetition of that uh, chorus, wash me whiter than snow till I'm whiter than snow, you know, that idea is directly from this psalm. We waiting for you. Yeah. Then uh, number five. Give me a new heart. Oh, Jesus, give up. Give up. So that word, that, that word, that last word, I always had trouble with it. I was describing my bum instead of my heart. Huh? <laughs> well, I don't know if he's the word is bum. I don't think he's in heart. charge of bums, but maybe he's in charge of heart. <laughs> so, Jesus, you see me waiting for you. Give me a new heart. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. New heart. New heart. New heart. New heart. New heart. And then it says, uh, 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 how we are, that's all you. Yeah. <laughs> 